Christian Horner has finally opened up to the opportunity of having Max leave Red Bull for one of their fiercest rivals, Mercedes, amid the dominant era that the Austrian team has entered. However, it seems like the Brit isn't too phased with replacing Max with another driver. And while many believed that his response would be more defending of the three-time world champion, Horner shocked everyone when talking about the future of the Dutchman. But with Verstappen knowing what Horner thinks of him now, and with the internal power shift in Red Bull being far from over, are we going to see more struggles throughout 2024? And is Verstappen truly on the horizon to leave after the latest developments with Helmut Marko? Christian Horner's life hasn't been the easiest one in the past couple of weeks. However, he has made everyone sure that no man or human being goes above the team. The motto under which he has led Red Bull from 2005 to this day to 13 combined championships, three of which belong to the man who is threatening to leave the team. Elaborating on Verstappen's future in Red Bull, Horner was adamant that the team could easily survive without the Dutchman and that it would be more of his loss than the other way around, further adding, if it's like anything in life, you can't force somebody to be somewhere just because of a piece of paper. If somebody doesn't want to be on this team, then we're not going to force somebody against their will to be here. You can never say no about Verstappen leaving, but if a driver doesn't want to be somewhere, then they'll go somewhere else. But I can't see any reason why anybody would want to step out of this team. Obviously, Max has expressed his loyalty to Helmut Marko, the man who brought him up to the Red Bull ranks and to where he is right now, saying that if the veteran Austrian is out of the team, then his future with Red Bull will hang in the air as well. Marko's future was discussed this weekend with Oliver Minsloff, the man who oversees all of the operations in Red Bull Racing and is practically the only one above Horner in this company, and he assured everyone that he does not plan on leaving unless the team has other plans for him which Oliver denied firmly and stressed that the biggest importance for Red Bull now is to focus on winning rather than internal politics. This, however, won't go unnoticed, and there will be lots of talk in the paddock regarding the future of Max Verstappen as well as Helmut Marko, mostly because the third party involved in Jos has commented a lot about Horner's presence in the team, saying that it's toxic and until he is gone, everyone in the team is feeling threatened. But nonetheless, the 50-year-old Brit said that there is no one who can be above the team, which is more or less the mentality you would expect from a man who went on to win so much with Red Bull and go through thick and thin, being at the top from 2010 to 2013, then chasing Mercedes for seven long, excruciating years, only for him to face the allegations he is facing right now. When talking about the investigation that went on against Helmut Marko's position in the team, one that Horner cannot directly interfere with because the veteran Austrian is part of Red Bull's brand, not the racing team, the Brit went on to say, Obviously, a lot is made of this rumor stuff, but we are one team and nobody is bigger than the team. Everybody has a role to play. That's from the very bottom to the very top. Helmut is a consultant to Red Bull GmbH, which is the wider energy drinks company. So whatever the discussion was, it was between them and not the team. However, Horner went on to say that although Verstappen is living his golden era right now and there is very unlikely a car that could challenge him for wins until 2026, he pointed out the fact that he cannot be above the team no matter what happens in the internal politics of the Austrian brand, elaborating, Max is an important member of our team. He is a valued member of our team. He is a wonderful driver, but everybody has a role to play on this team. We are a team. No single individual is bigger than the team. The speculation over me is obviously rife, but the most important thing is the team and focusing on on-track performance. You only do that by having a spirit, a culture, and a determination throughout the entire company. There are many beliefs when it comes to Helmut Marko and Christian Horner's influence on Formula One, and whenever Horner's name is brought up, you cannot help but note all of the success he's had with the Austrian team. But that doesn't mean Marko has done little to nothing just because you don't see him quite as often as the Brit during the race weekends. He is the one bringing up drivers like Vettel, Ricardo, and Verstappen to where they are right now. And quite frankly, that is highly appreciated by Red Bull's brand in Austria, which is why Max Verstappen went on to state the importance of having Marco in the team, due to the fact that he is the one starting the team from scratch with Dietrich Mateschitz, and has been there from day one, further talking about his connection with the veteran Austrian as well, adding, It's very important that Max stay within the team. 
If such an important pillar falls away, that's not good for my situation as well. So, for me, Helmet has to stay, for sure. My loyalty to Marco is very strong. I've always expressed this to everyone within the team, everyone high up, that he is an important part of my decision making for all the time in the future, as well within the team. He has built this team together with Dietrich from day one, and he's always been very loyal to the team, to everyone within the team, to make sure that everyone would keep their positions already from back in the day. And I think it's also very important, of course, that you give the man a lot of respect for what he has done. And that comes back also to loyalty, you know, and integrity. But according to his spokesperson for Red Bull, Christian Horner believes he is the one who is responsible for all of the success that the team has endured throughout their existence, and that is why he believes that he should be the one who will own a bigger part of the team headed in their new direction. Obviously, Red Bull started their independence process quite a while ago, and from 2026 onwards, they would be entering the sport with their new American partner Ford, who would be badging the engines produced solely by Red Bull. A partnership that has also been brought into question after all of the latest happenings with Christian Horner. Recent reports state that it is no coincidence that it was Horner who blew up the entire partnership with Porsche, wanting a bigger slice of the pie for himself and not sharing his success with a company that would just step in and take 50% of something they hadn't invested a nickel in up until today. The main difference between Porsche and Ford is that the American company is not going to be a stakeholder, which was the breaking point between the negotiations between Porsche and Red Bull. And with the latest developments with Horner, it now makes sense as to why it hasn't been realized in the first place. Nonetheless, the future of Red Bull has been set clear, and it's very obvious that Horner is not moving anywhere from the role of team principal and the CEO of Red Bull's F1 racing branch, which was also confirmed by Jos Verstappen, who would like nothing more than to see the Brit out of the door as soon as possible. When talking about this matter, the father of the three-time world champion has stressed out the importance of the relationship Horner has with the Tyon side, one that is in ownership of 51% of Red Bull's brand and how that is preventing the Austrian side from making any type of move without the approval of Uvidaya. Elaborating on this matter even further, as well as the female employee that started this entire process, Jos went on to say, I sympathize with the woman, with all that she went through, but we will see what happens. Red Bull seems to know what they are doing with her. We will see, but I think it is for her to come out and see what happens. I think it's too late for Christian to say, leave me alone, but he has the support of the Thai owner, so I think he will stay for the rest of the season. I said it would be bad if he stayed. It really isn't good for the team, this whole situation that we are going through right now. But the fact that Jos didn't participate in the last race weekend in Jeddah and Marco was called in for talks with Oliver Minsloff might point towards the fact that Red Bull is indeed Horner's team after all, and nobody can be above it at this point. With this in mind, do you think that Verstappen would be eager to leave Red Bull if things do not turn out the way he wants? Let us know in the comments below.